How you doing everyone? Welcome back. Have a real quick look at farm, see what's been going on over the last few days, couple of weeks. Um, and yeah, we had a momentous wick up to uh, 285. Since then, sell off has ensued and we've struggled to break above um, some support resistance zones. Now, I can move around. I'm going to I'm going to drag this fib around to a realistic um, where we're seeing support and resistance with the uh, with the price action. So yeah, because I mean to be honest, I'm not going to call that a scam wick, but we didn't hold it long enough for it to to fit with um, what we're looking at at the moment. However, as you can see, when we draw this in a little bit more, it is it's sitting well. So. What's happened um, over the last few days is we've retraced back to the 786 as quite a lot of tokens do after a move and we've had a little bit of consolidation, found support there and we've begun to move higher. Um, we are rejected at 0.5 and we essentially held at the 618, didn't want to move higher and then now we're back testing again um, back towards the 786. We may not come as far as 126 uh, we may go sooner but i'm expecting us to come back down here and then we'll see a little bit up probably a period of consolidation just under the 618 to find some true support build a little foundation wick above and then possibly some more consolidation before we leg up higher now that's daily um so that's kind of where we've been from the move to now we've been three weeks um i think it's fair to say that this move would probably cover you know there or thereabouts um yeah the next three weeks so that's what i expect to happen in the long term um uh, three weeks is long term when it comes to crypto but let's jump into the hourly and see how this thing's been behaving yeah so it's hungry to come back it's it's broken above the support wasn't there, it's back tested to try and break above, wasn't there. It wants to go higher, it is really hungry to go higher, but the support's just not holding. Uh, so what we've seen now, little sell off, period of consolidation, again a period of consolidation, wicked up, didn't quite make it, um, and now we're in a slight downward spiral. So do expect, um, yeah, do expect 126.4 uh, as the bounce point, However, we may go sooner. Um, I don't expect us to have a, a huge giga candle from uh, from where we are. Um, I mean, that's well. I say, <laughs> I say, I don't expect us to. If we see one, um, essentially expect us to. If we rise quickly, we are going to tail off again. We're not building. Um, you know, I talk about the staircasing pattern from time to time, where you level up find support, level up, find support. When you see that kind of pattern, you don't come back. Um, so that's what I'm hoping to see here with farm over the coming three weeks um, is a level of staircasing, which kind of mirrors um, the, the downward spiral we've, we've been witnessing. Um, it would be nice to see it build slowly I would rather so I would rather invest in something now and build slowly, knowing it's gonna hold the level it gets to, rather than what can only be defined as a scam wick. Um, I mean, from where we were on this wick here at 284, we've actually held back over 50%. Um, no one wants to see that for their portfolio, um, unless you do want to um, sort of buy a token on the 27th of December and then sell it no later than the 29th. I mean, that's, uh, you know, it, yeah. It's not how I like to do, to do business or invest. Um, and I hope that for my subscribers, we're not just looking for the quick win. We're looking for the, the long-term growers um, that will remain bullish and develop. So uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna leave it red because I don't think farms um as steady as that for a pattern um but it would be very nice to see um but yeah i am i am expectant 
to see uh, this move here play out over the coming three weeks. Uh, so I'm going to mark that green. And in a worst case scenario, because I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't give you that, would be that we tail off to the 786, attempt some support, lose it, back test, and then we essentially make it back to the 90 where we were um, just before Christmas. And then you probably see a similar move to what's gone on here. Probably not wicking as high as up up to the 300 range but possibly mm. up to um possibly up to 170 190 all right so uh that i'm gonna mark amber as i can't see it playing out but equally it's more likely than us seeing a nice steady steady climb for the immediate short term on the hourly mm. chart yeah We've, we've, we've essentially got the information there. We're gonna, I do expect us to tail off. Uh, quite a lot of um, the old coins tailing off at the moment because of the, the volatile nature of Bitcoin and the very interesting channel it's put itself into. So for the next couple of days, do not expect to see momentous moves on some of these major old coins. All right, best of luck. Um, just as a quick closer, um, we have opened up a Patreon to, uh, hopefully build the support behind the scenes for the team which um the more the um the more pledges that come into us uh the more work we'll be able to put into keeping videos constantly rolling and uh, have some live streams set up and etc so if you guys want to see some live streams coming out from fips crypto um then yeah please do pledge um we look forward to your support it's not mandatory but if you are able to support us then uh it would it would help us grow the content the detail the in-depth um videos on the tokenomics and uh, hopefully support you to see the future of these tokens rather than just the snapshots that you're getting which are normally under 10 minutes on what to look for over the next 24 hours all right best of luck take care see you soon